Hometown Hero is on a mission to raise awareness for mental health, and he is doing it in a very unique way. Michael Miocic is running 13.1 miles every day this month. It's a challenge for himself and the community to use physical fitness to promote emotional well-being. He's also working to raise thousands of dollars for a Florida-based nonprofit that supports those who are struggling with their mental health. Running along South Ocean Boulevard in Delray Beach, Michael Miocic is moving for mental health, and he's encouraging others to do the same. I'm not really encouraging anyone to go run a half marathon with me. They can if they want to, but kind of just if they want to go for like a two mile run or even go for like a mile walk. As someone who has struggled with mental health in his own life, Michael uses running as an outlet to clear his mind. Now he's sharing his experience in hopes of letting other people know it's okay not to be okay. Something I've struggled with a lot in my life um, and a lot of my family members have struggled with. So I think it's just something that's very close to heart and um, has impacted a lot of people and especially in men, not many men have vocalized it or spoken about it. Michael is moving for something that matters to him and he's bringing along a whole group of people who are who are cheering him on and then maybe feel freedom for the first time to say actually I wonder what it would look like for me to move for my mental health and, and maybe it's not the 13.1 miles because that's again heroic but maybe it's small. Lindsay Kolsch is the co-executive director of To Write Love on Her Arms, a nonprofit dedicated to presenting hope and finding help for people struggling with depression, addiction, self-injury, and thoughts of suicide. I think we get stuck in that place where we think there is no resources for me or I don't know where I can turn and I don't know how to afford it. So we really created what's called our Find Help Tool that helps um, people. People locate free and reduce mental health services in every zip code in America. Not even halfway through the month yet, Michael has raised more than $8,000, which translates to thousands of people getting the help they need. Giving $5 helps 17 people navigate and get to mental health resources that they can afford. So I would say that for the price of a Starbucks coffee, you can do a lot of good. And I think Michael is doing a tremendous amount of good, um, moving this conversation forward and then impacting people. And that's all the motivation he needs to keep moving. Even just family members that have reached out to me that I didn't know were struggling or friends that I didn't know were struggling or people reaching out to me saying that they didn't know I was struggling, um, showing them, that you know it's it's okay to be in a bad place and it's okay to to vocalize it um and and get out of it in whichever way you can in a, in a healthy way yeah so he's 13 days in today just about to that halfway mark his goal is to raise twenty thousand dollars and really just inspire people to be open about any challenges that they might be facing i love what he's doing i love this idea of just people also just deciding to go run with them and like he said another 13 miles right. just Come join him for a little bit. Right, whatever you can do, you know, he's having a good time with it. He's getting his coworkers involved and out running with him every day. So if you would like to also get involved and support his mission, we've got this story on our website, cbs12.com. I've also posted a link on my Facebook page. You can find me at Sam at CBS12. Hi, I'm Sam Kerrigan for CBS12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.